Welcome back everybody to another episode of some Building Big with Germ. How's everybody doing today? Last episode, we started working on that castle up there, that Italian Tuscan style castle. And I've been doing a little bit more work on it off camera, uh, but mainly just some stuff around the area. Like I came over here and redid this house completely. Well, both of these, I should say, but uh, redid both of these so that they match our new style just a little bit better. They still did kind of fit in uh, for the most part, but I wanted to swap out some of the blocks and I think they're much, much better looking now. And I've also started working on filling in some of the hill over here. Uh, I talked about last episode wanting to make it a much smoother hill. Uh, so I've come up here and started filling this in and I think it's looking a little bit better so far. I need to make some edits to it, I think. Uh, let's just fly up on top of here. This is where I've been looking at it from. So yeah, I need to make some changes to it, I think. But for the most part, it's pretty good. I might get rid of that little, uh, like, I don't even know, that little hill right there uh but i'm not sure i'm not sure if i want to keep that or not this i am going to get rid of this like spike here uh just looks pretty weird so i'm going to tear that down once i figure out what i'm going to do down here because it's a little bit of a mess down here too i've also obviously gotten the road all worked out all the way down to here i still need to fill it in all through here uh but that'll get done eventually maybe by probably in between this episode and next episode uh, and I still need to detail all these walls around here, but I've gotten it detailed all the way to, I think, here. Yeah. So you can see what it's eventually going to feel like uh, all the way down. I also need to fill in the, uh, the hill here still, uh, which shouldn't take too long. But I've been doing a little bit of work up inside of here as well. Uh, oh, by the way, last episode, I couldn't remember what these were called. Uh, they're called cypress trees. That's right, cypress. So yeah, thank you all for letting me know that. Uh, and then, yeah, I've done a little bit of work in here, getting this road filled out. Uh, just a little bit more planning. Uh, not a ton of building. I filled in this here, filled in this here. Uh, I'm going to get a lot more of this filled in today, though. But I've kind of started doing some planning over here, and I think we're going to make this go up the mountain here a little bit. I'll probably have to tear from the mountain quite a bit. Uh, but... Yeah, it's going to kind of wrap up the mountain here a little bit. And I don't think, I think I'll probably lower this mountain a little bit. Uh, so it's kind of all at this level-ish, uh, kind of where we're at now. I think the walkway is going to be right on this level here. Uh, so yeah, it'll probably be around this level. Maybe go up a few more blocks, but for the most part, it'll be like this. I'm also kind of thinking this may lead us, this project may lead us into a new project that I've been wanting to work on for a very, very long time, which is a desert city, a big desert city. Uh, I think it would definitely tie in to the style we're doing now a lot, uh, but I'm not exactly sure if this is the biome I want to do it in. I always thought this was, but... I think once I regenerated some of these chunks, some of the biomes kind of got swapped around. There wasn't much of that that ha Whoa, look at that. There's a temple down there. Huh. I don't think I ever looted that. Wow. That's really cool. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't much terrain generation that changed since I generated this originally, but some of the more rare biomes like this biome here the savannah what is it shattered savannah uh that kind of changed a little bit it got moved uh, like it can generate in new places now with stuff like that so there's a savannah here now that i don't think originally was here um so i don't know i i, I would really like to do the desert here but I mean, the savanna isn't really the biggest problem for me. It's that, the plains and that forest. I don't want, I really don't want that bright green uh, in our view. We could go ahead and come down here, like over this way. This could work. Let's see, if we're right here. Yeah, we don't see that. So that could work, but this, is, this, is, uh, this isn't something we're gonna be starting very soon. Uh, it'll be something we do eventually down the road. But yeah, so this is kind of what we got for this side, and it's going to wrap around. I think there's going to be a tower right there, and then the wall will probably come straight back to here-ish. So, yeah. 
But today, I have a few things that I want to do. I want to kind of do some vineyard stuff, like bringing the vineyard up this hill here that I made. Uh, probably not too much detailing on that, but I want to at least get the, the leaves in there. I also want to show off some texture pack stuff that I've done off camera. Also, uh, patrons, I posted, I think on Sunday, I posted a, a new patron resource pack update. So if you want that, go check it out. Um, and then I think, so we'll go over those changes in a little bit. And then I think we're going to be working on some of the stuff in here, some of the stuff in this little courtyard area. So I'm going to go ahead and get some materials and stuff ready. And uh, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, we're back and I've got some materials together. Not a ton of stuff, but uh, I think we're just going to do this fairly simply and then I'll do some detailing off camera. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of go with this line here that we have. And I think I'm going to do these a bit differently than what I did down there. I might redo the vineyards down there. Uh, because I don't like how, I mean, I definitely don't like the fences that I put in them. And I'm not sure that I like the berry bushes in them either. I don't think I do. But we're just going to, like I said, we're just going to follow this line here. And hopefully get something pretty decent. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's fly up and take a look at that line. Yeah, I think this will be okay. And if we get them pretty close together, maybe not too close, maybe something like... Uh, well, hmm, I'm thinking something like this, maybe about two blocks apart. Uh, we'll do, we can have them be one apart in some spots just so we can get a good line. Uh-huh, do that. And I'm definitely going to have to go get more spruce leaves, but I think this is going to be a cool look. All right, there we go. That's kind of what it's going to feel like. Obviously, I'm going to put some paths in there and uh, I think I'll rough. I I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure if I want to rough it up or not. I kind of like how this feels like the perfect uh, feel for this. Uh, so I don't know, but I do think I want to somehow incorporate the sweet berries. I really wish you could just like plant them on top of uh, whoops on top of a bush. That would be pretty cool, uh, but can't do that, unfortunately, can't do that. We could try to do similar to what we did down there, like stick them in there like that, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I like that or not. Yeah, I, well, I don't know, that, that's not so bad, actually. Whenever you're looking at it like directly on, it looks kind of strange, like like this. Looking at it like that, it looks strange, but when you're walking down this, it doesn't look so bad. I don't hate that. So we may do that. We may do that just from time to time, just a, like one there, and we'll keep them fully grown. We won't, uh, we won't harvest them, but yeah, that's not so bad. I did run out of leaves again. Whoops, wrong thing. I ran out of leaves again, so I had to go down and uh, I just harvested them from the vineyards down there because I decided we are going to completely redo those um, just so they match these better. And I want to make them all going this direction instead of having some going like that direction and then some this direction. So it makes like a T. I want to make them all the same direction. So, yeah, that's something I'm going to be doing probably off camera. Uh, but. Yeah, so I need to do some detailing, some more detailing to this, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to do that off camera, I think. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, and I also need to fill in this side and still need to fill in some dirt and maybe put a little like cliff there. Uh, still need to do some of that the rest of the way up here. So that stuff I'll do off camera. But I want to hop into a creative test world now and show you some of the resource pack changes I've done. All right, we're here in my creative test world now. There's a few small things here that I could show you. Uh, first of all, I've changed some of the wall models so that the sandstone and red sandstone can have this top texture on it and the bottom texture on it. That for some reason that wasn't a thing uh, in the recent or in the vanilla version. It, uh, it just showed up as the side texture always on the top. So I fixed that. And then chickens, I've added a few variants to them. Kind of based on, uh, if you've been around for a while, I had a better mobs resource pack. Well, I can show you real quick. All right, here it is. These are my old chicken models. 
uh, you can see they're pretty pretty extreme. I don't think I want to use uh, something like this anymore. Uh, I may edit the models a little bit in the future. These are some really cool models, but I don't think I don't think they fit with Minecraft, so I'm not going to be using them anymore. But yeah, these are what they used to look like. They got a bunch of different uh, color variations, and they're pretty cool. I like them. I like them quite a bit. This is another problem with them. They uh, <laughs> they have a giant head if they're a baby. So yeah, that's a problem. So yeah, and uh, this is what they look like now. We got a brown one, a black one, a like tan one. That's what the baby chicken looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. And then there was one more. There's a black one with orange stuff on it. Yeah. Uh, I may change this a little bit more, but that's what that looks like for now. And by the way, if you want that other pack with the pretty extreme custom models, uh, there's a bunch more models in the pack for different mods. So if you want to check that out, there's probably a link in the description. If not, just go to Curse Forge and search Germs Custom Mods. Another small thing, there's a bunch of horse uh, variations now. You can see this one right here. Uh, this is the chestnut color. It's got a, a blonde uh, mane and tail. And then this one is the same chestnut, but it's got brown instead. Uh, just some small stuff like that. It's nothing nothing too crazy. Uh, but there's a few, a few horses that have that. Like this one is a white one, but it has blonde mane. That one's white, but it has white mane. Stuff like that. And I'll probably be adding more as I go. But for now, there's that. And there's also a few different variants for the spots. There's one with a big, big like splotch on it. There's one with a few different smaller splotches. And then there's the one with the, uh, the white dots. But the big thing, the big thing in this update, I feel like, if we go ahead and teleport here, this is something I've been working on for a long time trying to get figured out. And I finally got it. I finally got it figured out. Here it is. Snowy, bushy leaves. Uh, and this I'll be adding to the bushy leaves add-on if you just use that. Uh, eventually, I'll be adding that. But, yeah, bushy leaves on the snowy leaves. I think it's so cool. I like it a lot. And this only happens in snowy biomes. It doesn't happen in mountains. Like, the, uh, the it doesn't do it on the tops of mountains where it's all snow-capped. Snow uh, but... It does it in snowy taigas, snowy plains, snowy mountains, and it's uh, like these, those snowy mountains right there. Uh, and it's, I think it's a really cool effect. I posted it in my Discord. Not everybody liked it, uh, so maybe it's not, maybe not everybody's gonna be super excited about it in this video. But I am. I'm, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And it's a, uh, it's a connected texture, so it, it'll work. It'll bring the. Uh, the snow up as it goes unfortunately it uh it doesn't do it like it, it doesn't matter if there's a snow layer on top or not it uh it's only it only depends on if it's in the biome but yeah that's pretty much it i'm really excited i want to do a build out in the snowy biome now uh now that we have this and i've got a few ideas but if you have any ideas let me know it'll definitely be a while this it, maybe it'll be like a december project or something like that around Christmas time. But yeah, if you do have any ideas for uh, a project for that, let me know. All right, we're back here in the real world and I've gone ahead and decorated out these vineyards, uh, at least this little patch here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing, like I said, I'm gonna be doing all of this side as well and then probably extending this all the way down to the river down there. Uh, but for now, this is what we got. And I think it turned out pretty good. I like it quite a bit. I uh, was able to incorporate these berry bushes like this. I think we talked about this earlier, but but yeah, I think this turned out pretty cool. I like it. I may go through and add in a few uh, cypress trees throughout, uh, but besides that, I think it's pretty good. But I've also been doing a bit of planning up here in the castle, and I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I've got most of it planned out. I did decide that I'm gonna be tearing down a lot of that mountain, I think, in the very back there. Uh, but this is kind of what we got here. This right here is gonna be the entrance to the, like, the main keep. Uh, and then we're gonna have, this is gonna be a little courtyard area. We'll have stables right over here, I think. If we have enough space, we might not. We might stick it right over here. But we're also gonna have like a big ditch here that I'm gonna dig out. I wanted to have like a moat, but uh, since we're so far up here in the mountains, we can't really do that. So I'm just gonna have a big pit 
that goes through here. Uh, I don't know the exact term. I don't think moat would still be the proper term for that, but we're gonna have a big ditch here and then a bridge going over that. Uh, and then this will head into the castle, or the keep, I should say. And then this will head in here and we'll have a couple buildings in here. I think we'll have some buildings lined up across uh, along here. I think we'll have a big garden on this side over here with maybe some training grounds on, on the side here. Uh, and then over here will be where the, the actual keep is. So yeah, I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I do need to do some more planning on the inside here, obviously, but I think for the rest of today, I'm gonna be working out uh, this area along here, this entranceway here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that, and I think we're gonna do a little bit of a time lapse of it. Alright, we're back, and I've done a bit more work as you can see here, and as you saw from that time lapse we just did. Uh, yeah, just done a little bit more work here, and I did a little bit more since we did the time lapse. I finished this wall here and put a little, little chimney right here. Uh, and I actually want to do something to kind of set it apart a little bit so it's not like flush with that wall. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Do we do it like that? No, I don't think we do. I don't think I don't think I like that. Um, what about that? Hmm. No, we'll find another way to cover that up. Uh, but we're nearly done with the episode here, and I wanna I wanna do a little bit of detailing here together with you guys. Uh, but I hear a wandering trader over here. Every time I get one of these now, 
Uh, I want to try... Where are you at? Oh gosh, she's freaking out. I want to see... Okay. I want to see if he has any uh, tropical fish. I guess here. That doesn't really... <laughs> that's not really useful for me, but... Um, on salt mine, I made a koi pond, and I'm always trying to get a, uh, a wandering trader that has tropical fish. But okay, so obviously we didn't get too much done of this today. This is actually, I mean, it, this has taken a lot of materials. I've had to go back down and fill up my inventory a couple times with red sandstone. Um, but yeah, so it didn't get a ton done because of that. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how I want to approach this just yet, what I'm going to be putting in this area here. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to be putting the stables over here instead of over there. Uh, but I'm not sure what else is going to be over here. So don't want to go too far this way just yet. But okay, so let's go ahead and start doing some stuff. So I want to do kind of like I did down there on the road. I want to do like a border of coarse dirt. Uh, we may leave a few grass blocks here and there on the sides, but for the most part, it's going to be coarse dirt like that. Maybe only, maybe only even one block. And then in further, we are going to, whoops, give me all that. We are going to do the middle with path blocks, just like this. And I really like this look because it just gives another, another layer of depth to the place. And if we really wanted to go crazy with the depth, we could even go in on the corners and add in some uh, coarse dirt slabs. Uh, in my texture pack, I replaced petrified oak slabs with coarse dirt, and I gave myself a recipe for the, uh, the slab. So maybe we might do that. We might do that from time to time, but I'm not sure. So just kind of going through randomly and digging out little patches. Uh, of, of grass to put in some of the coarse dirt and I think that just gives it a little bit more of a natural look and feel uh, and we'll dig out all of this just like that and that's our road and we'll of course go through with some more details on the edges there uh, here in a minute but I'm also smelting up some smooth stone smooth stone uh, because I kind of think I want to do a little thing right here Let's go like this. I want to do a little bit of a, uh, like a, a garden type area. Not, not garden. I'm not sure exactly what it would be called, but just a fancy little spot that has some, uh, some plants and flowers and stuff. So I think we'll do something like this. I think maybe if it looks good. Uh, and then I'll come in with some coarse dirt and probably a mix. Whoops. Not that. Probably mixed in with some regular dirt, maybe some podzol. That would actually probably be a good block to use here. And we'll just do a little bit of some bushes and flowers and maybe a tree. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and go grab some other stuff really quick. All right, there we go. That's better. And I think I probably actually am going to change this out to something else uh, because I don't think this really fits in with the rest of the style we have going on here. And I have an idea for what I could use for that. I think we'll just do some cut red sandstone just like that. And then we'll do some slabs along the top. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I like that. Now let's go ahead and do a little cypress tree right, let's see, maybe right there. Let's see if we can jump on that. There we go. Good. And we'll do it too high and then leaves like so. There we go. I think something like that is pretty good. Then we'll come through with some acacia leaves and just randomly place them around like this. Just kind of covering the wall a bit. There we go. I think that's good. And then we can come through. And I think this is a good spot to use the lilacs that we tried to use last episode. Uh, I think we'll use these quite a bit inside this castle area. Uh, so yeah, this will be a good choice, I think. And then last but not least, some what pink? Yeah, pink tulips. Then I'll just place some tall grass around here and there like a so. And there we go. I think that's okay. I like that. It just adds a little small, a little detail. It's not necessary or anything, but I think it's a cool little detail as you're walking up. Just add a little bit of life to the area. Something else I want to add is a few campfires. Let's grab some of these, these, and boom. All right, and I think we'll just do a little, a little thing like this. Just a little pile of of wood. Um, do I like it facing that way? Well, I don't have 
silk touch, so I can't change it. Uh, we'll do one like that. And you know what? I would much rather have it there, I think. We'll do it like that. Oh gosh, I forgot I did that. Whoops. All right, there we go. Something like that I think is pretty good. And I think I wanna do just a small, a small overhang here, uh, just to cover it in case it rains. Uh, I don't think it's, this probably isn't an area that would rain very often, but but I still think it'll be a nice, nice little detail to add. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. I like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish this all up really quick and I'll come back and we'll finish off the episode together. All right, there we go. Everything is done for today. Everything that we worked on today is done. I do think I'm gonna redo this gate. It's not, I mean, it's not even a gate really. It's just a bridge. Uh, I wanna do like a, I think I wanna do like a swinging door, like a big door. I don't think I wanna do like a, um, oh, what is it called? One of those gates that goes up and down. Ah, man, I can't remember the word, but you know what I mean. Uh, one of those gates that castles usually have. I don't think I wanna do that. I think I wanna have like a door that swings open. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that off camera in between episodes, um, but we got some pretty good progress done today. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. We had a lot of stuff we did today. We talked about the resource pack, uh, worked on the vineyards down here, which I've started expanding those a bit now as well. And I think that's gonna look so cool, just looking down from up here and just rolling hills of that, those leaves. I'm considering maybe swapping that out for dark oak and maybe changing the color map for dark oak in the savannah. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Uh, because I kind of want to have some of these trees up in there, but they're not going to stand out at all. Uh, they're just going to blend right into the to the vineyard. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. Probably in the next episode. I do have some ideas for how we could uh, use the dark oak uh, for this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully next episode, by time by time next episode comes out, I'll have a lot more progress on this place done. I want to have the vineyards, at least on this hill here, done. Maybe not down in there yet, because I'm not sure where I'm going to want it to end yet. But I want to have at least the vineyards on this hill done, and I want to get the front of the castle there done. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know if you have any ideas for anything else I should add here. Uh, I think we're actually going to be wrap. Uh, I mean, getting done with this castle fairly soon. Uh, it's not. It's not a ton of building that I have to do. There's a lot of interior stuff that I have to do, but uh, I don't know. I think the exterior is going to be fairly easy to get done fairly quickly. It's a fairly simple style. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>